All right. It is Tuesday, October 13th, 2020, at 11.30 p.m. All right, guys, let's take a look at some of these stories. Okay, so we have the possibility of snow coming in. Uh, there's snow up here in the Canada region on October 14th over Washington and parts of Idaho. Let's play this and see as the snow progresses. Um, snow over Montana. The 15th. Snow over Michigan. Snow in, in Idaho and Colorado. Um, October 16th. Another storm coming in over Montana and Washington State. On October 17th. October 18th. Snow as far down as almost Oklahoma right there. October 19th. And then October 22nd, some uh, snow by the uh, Great Lakes. Alright guys, so snow incoming for the northern states. Alright, next. Trump makes water demand of farms priority for new office. President Donald Trump on Tuesday created what he called a sub-cabinet for federal water issues with a mandate that includes water use changes sought by corporate farm interests and oil and gas. An executive order from Trump put Interior Secretary David Bernhardt and Environmental Protection Agency Administrator Andrew Wheeler in charge of the interagency water body. Let's scroll down so we can see um, some of the things. It says here, environmental groups say the amount of water sought by corporate farming would leave habitats and wildlife without enough water to survive. It says another of the many directives of the new interagency is implementing a water reuse plan. Oil and gas companies have supported one aspect of the plan that, would, that could allow them to dispose of briny, often chemical-laden oil field wastewater onto crops and in aquifers. So that's something not good that could possibly happen with this new um, agency. Let's see what he named it again. The Sub-Cabinet of Federal Water Issues. Alright, so we have that going for us. And next, Facebook says it will finally ban anti-vaccination ads. It says, Facebook says Tuesday it is launching a new global policy that bans ads that discourage people from getting vaccines. The company previously had a policy against vaccine hoaxes that were publicly identified by global health organizations. Now, if an ad explicitly discourages someone from getting a vaccine, we'll reject it. The company head of uh, health, Kang Jing Jin, a director of product management, Rob Leather, said in a blog post on Tuesday. The new ban amid the series of policy changes announced by the company to rid its social network of problematic content it had previously been hesitant to remove. This includes a ban on Holocaust denialism uh, announced earlier this week, a provision on pages and groups espousing the QAnon conspiracy theory, a temporary ban on political ads following November 3rd U.S. election, a ban last month on ads that seek to delegitimize de -legit the results of the U.S. election, and a decision last month to stop the spread of groups of his antisocial network to focus on giving uh, users health advice. So Facebook will allow ads that advocate against government policies around vaccines, including the COVID-19 vaccine. For instance, Facebook said it would allow ads like the ones on a staged delicate candidate in Virginia launched in August, which includes the language to stop forced coronavirus vaccinations. All medications have risks, and we believe discussion alone of mandating vaccine before it's released without knowing its long-term side effects is both premature and dangerous. So that's kind of spooky. I believe that people should make their own mind up if they choose to take a vaccine or not. Uh, it should not be mandatory. Alright, and finally, the Navy begins defusing the biggest World War II bomb ever found in Poland. 
It says the Navy divers take a part in a five-day operation to defuse the largest unexploded World War II tall boy bomb ever found in Poland. Navy divers on Monday began a five-day operation to defuse the largest unexploded World War II bomb ever found in Poland, forcing more than 750 people to evacuate their homes. Dubbed the earthquake bomb, the tall boy bomb was used by Britain's Royals Air Force and weighs nearly 5,400 kilograms, including 2,400 kilograms of explosives. The Navy said on its Facebook account, the bomb was found in a PS canal which connects the Baltic Sea with the Oder River and was dropped by the RAF in 1945 and the attack of the German cruiser Lotso. The sites near the town in Swojostical in northern Poland where a liquefied natural gas terminal was opened in 2016. So it's pretty spooky having a World War II bomb being dismantled close to you. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Hit like and subscribe for more news. And watch out for the snow coming, incoming, uh, this upcoming weeks. Uh, stay safe if you live up north. Just try to stay warm. And God bless you guys. See you guys next time.